I've had this raptor style grill for well over a year, but it's still sitting here in my house. I've neglected to put it on because of various reasons, getting busy and just forgetting about it. But today that's going to change and we're going to put it on the truck. As you can see, I had it painted. It's the same color as my F-150, so I think it's going to look a lot better than the standard grills. They just have the black. really well so it's hard to see all of them sometimes you might miss one until you go to pull up on it and realize that it's not coming up plastic cover off you have access to the entire grill and all the bolts and before you get to that you want to take this trim piece off by the light you don't have to take it all the way off you just have to loosen it up so you have access to a couple of bolts that are on the side of the grill you want to do this on obviously on both sides because they both have bolts holding the grill in there's one little clip up here that you have to take off so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these back so I can have access to the bolts and we'll continue from there. So this is the bolt that I was talking about. You can see it right there. You need to undo that in order to get the grill out along with the four bolts that are up on the top. There's one of these on each side. You're pulling this trim piece off. It comes off kind of hard. Just do even pressure and pull and eventually the whole thing will just snap. Start at the top and move your way down. The bottom came out harder than the rest of it. But as long as you're doing this in warm weather, you shouldn't have to worry about breaking any plastic. If you do this in cold weather, that's the chance you take, but it's pretty damn warm today, so I wasn't worried about breaking any of the clips or anything like that. And there's also four bolts up here. There's one here, another one here, and one over here. And I still need to take off this trim piece and undo that bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead, take all those bolts out, then we be able to take the grill off from the truck from there.
wire tie right here holding this bundle of wires together for the clips we just took off. So you want to undo that. Move this out of the way. And I forgot two small clips down here on the bottom. It's this part here. You want to make sure you do all of these from this little fabric piece that connects to the grill. Once those are done, the grill will come right off. that I ran into that you're probably not going to find in any of these other videos. But when this was on the star grill, this washer here in the back, I have a pair of vice grips on it now, but that washer connects to this bolt. It was on the side of the grill. It was part of the ones that I said that you had to take off once you got the grill off. Now, that washer slides into right here. It slides into this groove, and that's what holds that stud in, and this nut goes on the back side of it and holds it all together. The problem is when I was taking this uh, bolt off, it was spinning on this stud because it had been on there for a while. It was just sitting there spinning. It was spinning on that stud. So after everything was unbolted, I took the grill off. And you need these bolts in order to transfer it to the new grill because this is the hardware that holds it on. You're not transferring the stud or that washer, but you're transferring this one bolt, so it has to come off from that. And I couldn't get it off because the washer came out from the little groove, and I couldn't just undo this because it just kept spinning the washer. So I had to lock a pair of vice grips on the back to hold the washer while I screwed on, while I wrenched on the other side with the wrench and socket in order to get this one bolt off. So it was a major pain in the ass, but this truck is only three years old, but that nut was on there pretty good. So I hit it with some penetrating oil and let it sit for a little bit, then got the vice grips on there really good. You have to put them on like this, you can't put it so it's clamping this way on the end of it. It has to clamp the way it is now if you run into that same problem. So keep that in mind if you go to transfer your grill over.
a little bit harder going back on. It has, I don't know why, it doesn't have anything to do with the grill because the clips that the little tabs slide into are on the truck itself. It has nothing to do with the grill. So it's just a, it's a problem. Just trying to get those back on, but keep working it and you'll eventually get it. Uh, when you do put this grill in, before you bolt it down to the truck, make sure you run these wires through. Because if you don't, and they're stuck down in here, it's going to be really tough to try to get them all out, to fish them out. Now, the only thing left to do to complete this is to put this plastic piece back on, which is the first part that we took off. But I'm going to do that last because there's one more thing to do, and that's to wire these lights up. And you have to tap into this parking light right here. This wire is exposed. You don't have to take anything apart or anything like that. And you're going to want to test this with a multimeter. And hold on a second, I'll show you exactly how to do that. You're going to want a one of these things. It's a voltage tester. And you're going to need the truck running. And you're going to test, whoops. You're going to test these two wires to find out which one is your ground and which one is your power wire. I already tested these before, but I'll do this to show you guys. This will focus. See, I'm getting nothing on that wire. So that right there is my ground. This one over here. Oops. Helps if you turn the thing on first. This one here is my negative ground. This one over here is my power wire. So, this here is your power wire, your red one. The black one's your negative. I'm going to tap into those with a T-tap, and that will give power to these lights that run across the top of the grill. So I'm going to get the tap and tap into this, and I'll, I'll show you that process as well. That's pretty easy. For the Raptor grill for a 15 to I believe 17 F-150. Hopefully I went over a few things that aren't in other videos. I know it's it's pretty easy to do overall. A few things I got hung up on, but if you have any kind of mechanical know-how, it's really not that bad. You'll be able to get through it. Not too difficult at all. You can do it in an afternoon. It took me a lot longer to do it between filming, setting up the camera and everything. But overall, it probably would have taken maybe an hour, an hour and a half, or take it somewhere and have it done. But you, honestly, with basic tools, you can really do it yourself. It's not that bad. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, stay tuned for a little bit longer for the end, and I'll throw in a clip of how it looks at nighttime. Thanks for watching. See ya.